Blockhead Cryptocurrency News. Crypto slow with more crypto gains. Welcome to Blockhead News. A um, little late today on my news, and I apologize for that. I normally do it in the morning, but I had some other issues and things going on that I needed to take care of. First and foremost on that list was the bankroll community update. And the update is was that well, it is and it was. Um, we need to get this house balance up to double digits as fast as possible so that luck can provide its full benefits to the daily ROI. And we do that by simply, you know, going to bankroll. And let's see. Octodent. Okay and going to bankroll going down I have a hundred nine I withdraw so withdraw boom and then I am going to go to luck and I'm going to scroll down to the house tip jar and then I will make my donation and that is going to go to getting us that house balance you know I've seen a lot of people talking about energy and talking about this and the thing is we need to build this thing up into a monster um, you know and then the energy problem you know the energy is gonna he'll start giving some energy out um, you know you're gonna see these huge jackpots um, you know personally three days of donating to me really isn't that big of a deal because like I said I'm trying to see the bigger picture here and that is that we sustain um, for as long as possible and you know on that note we're coming up on the 30-day mark which is pretty darn awesome and we should celebrate that in the community of how strong it is so again withdraw on bank roll go to luck and simply put it in the house tip jar so after three days we'll see where we're at and then we can get back to playing luck getting those jackpots and you can see that baby just keeps on growing so anyways that is the bankroll update on to the markets um, coin market cap looking really solid 181 billion ish um, Bitcoin 5205 ETH 174 it's down a little bit from when I did my screenshot um, XRP you know this is a really weird one I think it's just because the dang supply is so big it just doesn't seem like it's gone anywhere it's kind of been stuck and I think XRP is battling these banks and the fact that they can create their own stable coin to transfer value if they wanted to uh, Bitcoin cash looking good Litecoin just blowing up man 92 I'll tell you what that thing has been a great performer EOS up Binance coin stellar Cardano um, tethers up Tron, nice little boost on Tron. So, um, and Monero is almost at 70. So, looking looking good overall. You know, am I am I dancing around? No. Am I smiling? Yeah, I'm smiling. I'm smiling. It's cool. It's definitely the right direction. But again, um, I'm not in a rush for these things to get. You know get into crazy numbers too fast because we want them to hold these numbers this time around which brings us to our first article and that is even if Bitcoin was a bubble I've never seen a bubble pop twice so this is a great article um, I'll tell you what man these news people just love to be negative look the first article says it could drop to 3,800, and the second one says it could skyrocket to 8,400. Oh my gosh, this stuff, these guys, it just cracks me up, man. I just never listen to the news people. Look at what's going on, look at the fundamentals. But, anyways, this article kind of talks about, um, you know, when something's a bubble, it typically is never a bubble twice, meaning the second time it comes up, it's for real. You know, taken to um, look at the internet you know the internet first came out there was all these people promising all these crazy things there was ICOs it was very similar to what um, crypto did last you know in 17 um, 
you know, and then obviously the internet came back after the consolidation, and it's obviously one of the most, uh, you know, amazing things in, of the of the century. And I think crypto is going to do the same thing. So, good article about bubbles popping twice. Um, Litecoin approaches a hundred, up two hundred percent. And I'll tell you what, that's just crazy. I've always liked those Litecoins. Um, a lot of articles talking about the Litecoin having. And actually, let's look at that. When is Litecoin having? Right. It's 2020. So we're 2019 May. So it's still about a year away, but um you know, it'll be interesting to see what happens. But anyways, Litecoin as always been solid. Um it's good to have a little stack of those in your portfolio because they do tend to track with um Bitcoin. And as you saw, there was that UFC uh, promotion a while ago where they had it in the center of the ring and stuff. That was pretty cool. Uh, next one, Samsung S10 reportedly hacked. So it, it's kind of funny articles like this because basically the guys did a 3D printer of a fingerprint. But here's the thing. It has to be the person's fingerprint. So what are you going to do, cut their thumb off and then do a 3D print of it. Um, I don't know, man. It's 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 kind of silly. But anyways, I had recently myself thought of getting a um, S10. Just, you know, I thought it was kind of cool. It had the built-in BTC wallet and such. But um, we'll see. We'll see what this article does and what we hear from it. Quite honestly, I'm more apt to wait till the S11 comes out and then I can get the S10 cheaper. So I always try to buy a gen or two behind. BTC at 5K, everyone happy, but Tone Vase thinks 1.3. Um, I got to say, this guy, you know, I know he's done a lot for Bitcoin, but he's just super annoying to me. Oh my gosh, he's so annoying. It, it just kind of reminds me of a dude... He got lucky. It was like he won the lottery. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not saying that he hasn't done good promotion for Bitcoin. But personally, his style of reporting the news and stuff is pretty darn annoying to me. I, I usually don't watch many of his videos. Um, it's just it's just super annoying. But anyways, you know, he's throwing some FUD out there that, you know, we're still may not be in um a bull market yet but you know because he got his bitcoins at ten dollars right so he doesn't care <laughs> right right so anyways check that out if you want security token boom explained stos 47 stos so i thought this article was really good because you know you don't hear a lot about the specific STOs and you kind of assume that it's not going anywhere but the reality is um, you know there there's some securities that are being tokenized um, just a lot of these securities aren't you like your daily day-to-day -day ones where the average Joe non-accredited investor can um, get into it and if you look Switzerland is um, one of the biggest places but I know they're more progressive in you know their laws and such but basically if you're new to the game STOs are basically regulated cryptos in a way so it's the you know it goes into the benefits and this but why I thought the article was pertinent was that you know it is happening they're starting to tokenize securities so just be aware of that and look at some projects like Raven and such that you know they are tokenizing so very cool very cool all right thousands of Nigerians trading Bitcoin on Paxful lose multi-million dollars as anti-graph begins investigation so another reason why never to leave your funds on an exchange but basically there's all these Nigerians on this Pax exchange and basically they froze all their accounts and you get in these situations on exchanges when the government breaks in, 
you have to prove how you got those funds and in essence it's kind of a siege it, it's they're seizing all your assets and you have to prove why um, and over how you got them so um, as a general rule I don't really leave more than a couple percent on an exchange at any given time. I keep all my stuff 256 encrypted offline, um, you know, pretty standard protocol to, you know, duplicate copies in different areas and such. So um, exchanges are good, but um, I think in the future, the DEXs will be built into the wallets. That's what I foresee happening. Like Tron Link, like you'd pop up your Tron Link, and I literally think the DEX would be built into the wallet. It makes the most sense because then you can buy, sell, move, do everything from one uh, place. Um, but yeah. So, anyways, check that out. You know, as a reminder, just don't leave the majority of your assets on an exchange. So, what's going on in the dApps tonight? Well, let's see. Um, Tron bets, not too bad. 2.93 on the divs, you know, so decent little night, decent little night. Um, if we go to Tron Trade, look at the token prices. Anti's sitting at 23, so it's fallen a little bit. There was that day where there were no divs and then all of a sudden there were divs and then the price went back up and obviously they're still waiting for poker it's kind of getting old waiting yeah so endless game um divs were down a little bit tonight so i don't know it's a weekend but yeah i'm still continuing to mine this i'm at 4.186 million my goal in the near term is 10, 10 million probably. So as I was talking in some of my other videos, if you start playing this game, you're almost kind of stuck at it playing until we get to the 6 billion mark. And what are we looking at right now? We are 2.3 billion. So, oh man, I tell you, we're a ways away. <laughs> um, but endless game. Now, you know, this brings me to a good point, and that is IOST dApps. So I know some other YouTubers are talking um, about some of the new games, specifically Play. Um, they're doing a lot of promotions and stuff. But here's the problem I have with Play is, number one, it's just not original. They literally just stole Tron Bet's stuff. Um, which, I don't know. And then, you know, to to cap it all off, I just don't know about this, man. It takes a lot of resources. Because if you're already playing Endless Game, and Endless Game is chomping up your divs, to come over here and start playing a second one, oh, man. It's just, yeah. My pockets aren't that deep, so um, yeah, I'll probably just keep playing Endless Game for now. Like, this is so stripped out. Like, I mean, it's smooth. Don't get me wrong. You know, fifties the men. Yeah, that's. Oh, I have no, I have no, uh, IOST. <laughs> yeah, so 50 is the minimum. So, yeah, I just, I just see this thing as a IOST chomper. So, I don't know. I checked it around. They don't even tell you what the div is going to be. So, you don't even know where the divs are going or what's happening or what's going on. Supposedly this is beta. But then, once again, if you're playing the endless game, you're kind of stuck playing it until you, if you start mining now, you're mining until 6 billion. <laughs> so I'm kind of stuck in that for now. Um, Tron daps. Oh, anyways, and then back to the IST daps. Nothing really else too major in here. 
Um, something I did want to mention was the fact that the um, iWallet does now allow you to manage um, gas, which is very cool. So this is handy. You can freeze, basically freeze and unfreeze gas, um, you know, so that you can play the games. It didn't have this before. So, you know, they're making this better. Um, and, you know, the number one reason I found the auto roll stopped on Endless Game was the, the stupid gas. So I think I got like 10,000 staked right now. So it it's holding up pretty well because it recharges every 24 hours. Mango, um, IST bid, you know, that was kind of cool. But, you know, IST bid, you can get wrecked on that one pretty quick because the people are all in um, on some of these rooms going back and forth 50-50. So, yeah, so not a ton. Um, and on that note, you know, IST is holding pretty well. But, um, yeah, so... I am not just going to spend all of my IOST in one place. I'm trying to do it with a strategy. So uh, the big news is Tron Next and their advertising too. So yeah, Tron Next and the Topia beta launch was tonight. Um, they're giving all kinds of stuff away and they have a few... Um, different games and things but yeah you got to be prepared to drop some knots on this if you get involved because it will get diluted quick um, other than that starting to see crypto cannabis game what in the world is this shit Yeah, looks like another stupid ROI, but yeah. So the ROIs seem to be slowing a little bit. There's less of them in here, but I tell you what, there was some shady, shysty ones. TD, 3D, D. I'm staying out of a lot of that stuff. Um, yeah, my primary ROI is is just bankroll for now. Um, I really don't want to get schnuckered on any of these new ones so but anyways as always um i appreciate you listening today and let's check um i've i did mention that i have the crypto slow cryptocurrency available now and that definitely helps support the channel um and you just go to tronscan and i have the link down below actually and it's Let's see. How many token holders we have? Oh, sweet. So I had another token holder. I appreciate that. They got 10. That definitely that supports the channel, and that is greatly appreciated. Another person bought two, and I had some other 10s in here. So that's fantastic. Like I said, you know, not no one else... Um, on YouTube that I know of has their own crypto where they're using it instead of Patreon or whatever to support their channel but as always I have that link down below um, it's one to one you get one crypto slow for one TRX and it's greatly appreciated so that's this week's news this is crypto slow as always um, you know things are happening fast um, I appreciate you guys coming along on this journey and um, as always if you're not talking gains, then we're not talking. Mm -hmm.